Hello everyone, this is 2Peter. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I have been busy. I have been reading your requests, so hopefully this week I can pump out a couple videos and show you guys things you want to see about Project Cars. Uh, this video I'm going to show off the menu. I'm going to try and do it quick, because whenever I try and hurry up, my videos end up being very long. So, let's uh, get started. Uh, you have this little option thing in the top right. Let's go to Driver Network. This basically stats about you. Obviously, this is a work in progress. It just populated with random, random data. Nothing really. This is not mine. I have not done 200,000 career races. But here we go. Generic stats about you, the driver. You have career things, historic goals, uh, awesome accolades. A lot of them, gold accolades. Some for all the different racing. Series, GT3, Formula C, so on. Uh, shit ton of silvers. Awesome. Nothing in bronze, obviously. Again, uh, as I go through the menus, a lot of stuff is in progress and they're changing and adding on to it, so don't let that... This is not the finished product. Don't let this turn you off. I'm just here to show you guys what I see when I launch Project Cars. Anyways, going on endorsements, nothing here, invitations, uh, I don't know what that's going to be yet. Highlights, looks like you're going to be able to upload your replays straight to YouTube. That's pretty cool. Locker, nothing here. So, let's drive our network, my garage, that shows off all the cars, I'll do that in a little bit. Options and help, uh, presets, don't care, it's low, medium, high settings, but I'm just going to show you guys the settings available. Gameplay, handling model, this is what I, when you guys watch any of my race videos, this is how I'm driving, everything is off, though I do have damage and mechanical failures off because I'm a noob and I crash. Tire wear, fuel usage, uh, I run on, auto start engine, I just have it on, driver aids, I have them again off, though uh, I think this is really cool, you can set it to real, so basically if a car in real life has like an LMP car if that has ABS in real life, it'll automatically turn that assist on. Everything else would be off, so uh, that's very cool. Uh, on screen, oops, let's uh, leave it on off. On screen guides, basically HUD stuff, mirrors, grid lights, mirrors, opponent names, stuff like that. Standard HUD options, opponent challenge, uh, I guess these are the maximum settings, these are the minimum settings. I have messed with these, I've tried both, and to me the AI feel like they don't change yet too much. They do change, I haven't really noticed it, but I guess I could play with this more. Regardless of the settings, the AI are challenging right now, and they are fun to race against. The AI are really cool so far in this game. Uh, y y if you've seen some of my other videos, the AI, they look broken and stuff. They are really cool now. Uh, watch my Geneta G40 career race. You will see that. Anyways, going on. So this doesn't drag on. Rules and realism. Session length. Uh, if it's on 100%, the races are extremely, extremely long. Uh, flags, penalties, stuff like that. So that's gameplay. Controls. There's a Logitech Drive Course GT, so you can do you know dead zones and sensitivity and edit the buttons on the wheel, and calibration, standard stuff. Uh, won't go too much more into that. It's same as all the other games. Visuals. Uh, this is what I run. Basically, everything is maxed. Uh, sun flare bloom. HDR. I think Cable Filmic makes it shinier a bit more, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of head on photographic. I'll I'll try and make a video with Cable Filmic and see how it is. I basically the this feature will be enabled soon, so crep circular arrays are off right now. I guess uh, fidelity. You see the resolution. I just have it at 1080. Everything is maxed. FX double A is off anti-aliasing. I, I run DSX f DS4X fairly well, but it's smoother if it's on 2X when I'm recording, so that's what I have it on. 
but for the most part, I've been running motion blur on high in my other videos, and I just realized, uh, yeah, so I should have it on low or off. People have been complaining that the motion blur is too crazy, so, uh, well, yeah, there we go. Hardware, looks like this is more iClift Rift type of stuff. So there we go for the visuals that I run. Camera settings. People complain have been complaining in the comments about a lot of the camera. It's too much motion blur, leaning, whatever, helmet blur. I have not edited any of this stuff. The only thing I think I turned off was shake effects. Everything else I have not messed with. So people complaining about the camera. There's a lot of things you can mess with to make it exactly how you like it. Uh, there we go, audio, generic stuff, you can use the official Spotify music playlist, that's cool, not mess with that. Uh, and then you have other crap that I'm not going to go into. Uh, so that is uh, the steel thing at the top right. In all of these, at the bottom, you have the dryer network, garage, options, and help, which is at the top right, so that's what you see. But there we go, community, you have, you know, leaderboards, uh, I think these actually work, uh, I don't know, I haven't really looked at them, but yeah, looks like they work. So Johnny W84 is a beast at Summerton, Formula A. Uh, so there's the leaderboards, I'm sure they're going to edit them, it's, uh, a lot of these, you have dev notes, they're, you know, They've been adding on to a lot of these things and changing them. So obviously, again, uh, another warning: work in progress. Don't judge us too much. Leaderboards, events. Often to see what community events are currently being run. Enter and make it into the top contenders for bragging rights and potential prizes. Huh, so that's new. Awesome. Uh, I'm sure, they'll edit the voice. Uh, I guess they're gonna have events where it's like time trials and. Yeah, you can compete in line, quick random, redeem a code seam store, like buy stuff, uh, let's see, no games online, no one's playing, oh uh, well, I uh, haven't really done any online racing yet, solo, quick race weekend, standard seasons, uh, this is cool, you can basically create your own season with uh, you know, what tracks to order and AI co-op, things like that. Um, so you can edit all this. The cars everyone uses, I'll show the cars off in a second. So that's cool, you can really create your own season. Kind of do whatever you want. Very cool. Free practice. I guess this is where I can show off a lot of the tracks and cars. So you can... Uh, you know, structure, depending on the track. Uh, this is free practice, so I can't do the number of opponents, but they go really high. Some up to like 50, 60. Uh, you can, you know, do the various practice, qualifying warm ups, formation laps. Really cool. Conditions, starting weather, there's a lot of conditions from clear to cloudy to rain, storm, and thunderstorm, like puddles form, and you hydroplane, and it's crazy. I'll try and do. Uh, video of the thunderstorm uh, fog and hazy and so a lot of conditions starting weather weather forecast uh, date time stuff starting time so obviously in the morning and if, if you watch my 24 hours do Schleife I basically do one lap around the Nord Schleife and you can see how the time changes I do it at like 10x or something or 60x and you see throughout the race it goes from like the morning to day to evening and you know during the night so it's really cool uh... locations a lot of tracks uh, many many tracks from you know monaco azure coast uh... very cool track i have a video of this track uh, this is the old uh the old Austrian GP. Uh, that's very cool. Map under construction. Spa. Historic spa. Cool track. Uh, 
Spanish Grand Prix. You know, I'm not going to go through all these. You know, they have circuits and these mountain roads, and a lot of people have seen my California highway track, karting tracks. Uh, Indianapolis, Hockenheim, Florence is uh, uh, what is this? Not Motegi. Uh, 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 blanking on the name with that. Nordschleife, uh, Dubai. Tons of tracks. 24 hours. And they have cir you know NASCAR tracks and <sighs> a lot, a lot of tracks. I don't wanna. I'm trying to keep this short, but test track, you know, drifting, circle, I haven't been on that one. A lot of tracks I've not done. A Suzuka and Milan, or that's the old uh, Monza, Silverstone. A lot of tracks. Uh, many, many, many tracks. I'm trying to keep this short, so I'm not going to go through all of them, but show off the vehicles real quick. Uh, uh, so you can take categories, you know, karting, you have the carts, 250cc super kart, regular kart, uh, uh, touring cars, you have older Mercedes, for example, older touring cars, and then new DTMs, uh, old Sierra Cosworths, uh, NASCAR, um, let's see, a lot of prototypes, they have everything from new prototypes like the R18, TDI, to uh, Sauber C9, cool car to drive. Some cars have more uh, liveries than others, some have just random colors, others have actual team liveries that are really well done. Uh, let's see what else. The Marek. Uh, uh, I wish I could spin this a bit. But, yeah, I don't want to spend too much time. GT cars, a lot of GT cars. There's a Janetta that I drive, the Junior. And it's GT3 counterpart. Pagani's on the R. They have the Hyura, or whatever it's called, too. In the road section. McLaren GT3. Uh, there's a there's a lot of cars. Oh, Ford GT40 monster car, really cool to drive. Mustangs, Cobras, Zach Speed Group Five car. This car is a beast, and it's really fucking awesome to drive on the Nordschleife. Some cars are better done than others. I mean, they're again work in progress. Uh, a lot of road cars. Gum Gumbert Apollo, beast car. Evo. Uh, sorry if I'm going fast. I'm just, I just want to do like a quick glimpse. Uh, I try and hurry up with my videos and they end up being like 12 minutes long. So, Bachmano, uh, Porsches. I think the Porsches, uh, last time I drove one of them, it c could have been better. The cars that are well done, I that are like finished, they're all really cool to drive, really fun. Cars that need to be worked on obviously are not so much fun. So, again, it's constantly, constantly improving. When I first got this game, maybe like one or two cars were cool to drive. Now there's uh, a ton of them that are just feel really cool. So, quick glimpse at cars. Uh, let's see setups. Uh, again, so this is these are the setups you can do depending on the car. There's more or less options, but you know, tires, downforce. Uh, the bump, suspension, front, rear, global, diff, brakes, gearing, center of gravity, miscellaneous, track bars, fuel loads, steering ratios, engine mapping, so on and so forth. So that's kind of the cars and tracks. And let's finally finish up with the career. Uh, some random one I did. Let's just delete that so I can start a new career. Uh, you know, ent enter your driver things. You have like a Twitter thing. Yeah. Uh, accolades. I guess if you meet certain criteria in your career, you can be like Hamilton or Schumacher or a Triple Crown, Travis Pastrana, badass. Uh, yeah. Keep going. 
So right now, these are all the starting points you can do. The one I did in one of my other videos, the first crew race with the Janetta Challenge, because the car drove great. Right now, if I wanted to, I guess I could start in Formula A. I doubt you can jump straight to Formula A in the final game. I think they do this for testing purposes right now, obviously. They might have more or less in the final version. I do not know. Uh, so you can start carts the lowest. It's really cool. So you click on that. You get offered a single contract at the moment. Probably be more. So Silverback wants me to drive for them. Awesome. Let's sign it. Uh, so let's see. You have the inbox. You'll get, you'll get emails. Cool results. No for all these things. Sorry if I'm rushing through it, I, I don't want my video to be like 12 minutes long. Uh, you know, so you, you enter like a karting championship and you'll have driver standings and things like that. You'll People tweet about you. Oh, this guy has a long neck, look at that. He looks like a worm or something. Uh, trolley saying I'm gonna be, uh, I don't know, whatever. Car set up calendar, so you have the calendar. It goes by, uh, you know, every every month. <coughs> the series you are in kind of stands out. It hi it's highlighted, so nothing I can do here. But on the seventh, it tells you. Uh, okay, so first event, I could enter this car race, and there are you see multiple. So Glensarn East, there will be two, three, four, si four races, and it might seem weird, like, oh, I'm going to have to do four races on Glencairn East now. Uh, they are actually very different because they, the time of day changes, the weather changes, so the first ra race might be during the morning when the track is cold and it's, you know, the sun's out, but the next race you might be, you know, cloudy and rainy and it might be dark so th the conditions uh, really add to the gameplay I think it's really cool I did like three races in the Janetta and even though they were on the same track the races themselves weren't too long but uh, the track th the track variations in terms of the weather and track temperature and things like that really make the races completely different so that's uh, my quick overview of of the menus. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.